Okay, so... What's so far away, and, and why does it want us dead? The Sirius Star System. Sirius? But that's where Far Zenith, their ship... The Odyssey. Yes, that's where it was headed. But it blew up. Unless... Uh, I don't... Why make it seem like they failed? They didn't want anyone to know. They didn't want future humans to think that they were out there. Wait. The strangers who tried to kill me at the Hades Proving Lab? The ones with the clone? Are you saying that they're from... That they're descendants of... Far Zenith? Yes. That is my conclusion. We're not gonna be able to fix the biosphere without making you whole. I ran a search for your subfunctions at the Hades Proving Lab, but Minerva was the only one I found. Thankfully. The sensory capabilities of this facility are far more advanced. I will search for the others now. Transmitting query pattern. Receiving. Of Apollo, Artemis, and Aruthia, I can find no trace. They are simply gone. What about the others? Ether, Demeter, and Poseidon are revealed. They lie within reach. Procurable. And Hephaestus? It too stands revealed, but it is not like the others. <laughs> That's for sure. In the years since the extinction signal, Hephaestus has evolved. Moreover, it is not confined to a single location. It haunts the global network that connects cauldrons to each other across the planet, making it exceptionally difficult to subdue. Let me guess. We need it bad? Correct. Its capabilities are essential. Without it, I can only delay the extinction of life on Earth. Hephaestus is our only hope of a permanent solution. So we start there? Unfortunately, we cannot. Procuring Hephaestus can only be attempted after my own capabilities have been significantly enhanced. Grab the other subordinate functions first, then Hephaestus. Precisely so. So, Aether, Demeter, and Poseidon. How do I capture them? To recover a subordinate function, you will have to travel to its location and find the physical processor to which it escaped. Then, exactly as you did with Minerva, you must use the master override to revert the subordinate function to its original code state. And then how do I get it back here? The subordinate function must be loaded onto a data storage device and physically carried back to this facility. The cartridge your root kernel was stored on? Yes. Its capacity is limited, so it can only carry one subordinate function at a time. But in all other respects, it will suffice. So if the Descendants came to Earth on a spaceship, I guess we can assume that their technology is powerful in all sorts of ways, right? Yes. As your encounter with them at the Proving Lab amply demonstrates, they appear to make extensive use of robotic servitors. Further, they seem to be equipped with some kind of protective energy field that shields them from harm. Yeah, no kidding. The one I fought seemed indestructible. Throughout history, every defensive technology has eventually been defeated by an offensive counterpart. Perhaps a way can be found to defeat their shielding. Yeah, I hope so. Or I'm not gonna be winning fights against them anytime soon.
The sole purpose of the signal was to destroy life on Earth, right? Why would descendants of Far Zenith want to do that? At this point, we can only speculate. I mean, Earth posed no threat to them. We don't have the technology to get in their way. We didn't even know about them. True. Unless... Well... Could it be that they want the planet for themselves? The strangers I ran into, they were after a Gaia backup of their own. I mean, if they did that... If they booted their own Gaia and boosted her power... Until she could take control of Hephaestus... And then the whole terraforming system... Then yes, the system could be used to do what the extinction signal failed to accomplish. Snuff out life. And then, potentially, to build an entirely new biosphere. To their specifications. So they could be trying to do the same thing we are. But with opposite results. Extinction. Instead of salvation. Well, this is not good. You said Sirius is really far from Earth. 81 trillion kilometers, or 8.611 light years. Right. So, how would the Descendants have gotten here? On a spacecraft much like the Odyssey, though significantly more advanced. The journey from Earth to Sirius would have taken the Odyssey almost 300 years. This appears to have been much faster. If their ship departed Sirius at the same moment the extinction signal first began transmitting, the journey was made in just 29 years at an average of 0.297 the speed of light. If they did not set out for Earth until they learned of the extinction signal's failure, the journey was even faster, a mere 13 years, or 0.662 the speed of light. Okay, enough. You're making my head spin. I guess I should get going and start bringing back subordinate functions. Yes. Once we have them, we can focus on the reacquisition of Hephaestus. When that is achieved, I will have complete control of the Zero Dawn system and the ability to produce as many machines as needed to defeat the Far Zenith threat. An army of machines. Sounds like a plan. So, the three procurable subfunctions. What can you tell me about their locations? When my predecessor destroyed herself, the subordinate function sought physical processors capable of holding them. So in each case you will be looking for a powerful computer of some kind. Ether is the closest, and therefore might be the easiest to acquire. However, it appears to be in the middle of Tanakh territory. My knowledge of that tribe is limited to data I read on your focus, but they seem to have a significant inclination towards violence. Well, that's a nice way to put it. What about Poseidon and Demeter? Poseidon has taken shelter in the desert south of this location. My substratal geography data indicates that a major old world settlement called Las Vegas was located there. A ruin in the middle of the desert, huh? Strange place for an AI devoted to water. Agreed. As for Demeter, it appears to be located on the coast to the far west. Unfortunately, I am unable to provide any relevant data about the region. As such, it may be the most difficult to retrieve. Okay. So, three subordinate functions to go after. Aether, somewhere in Tanakh territory. Poseidon in the desert, and Demeter on the coast. Where will you begin? I think I'll head south. Try for Poseidon. Understood. Poseidon will now appear as the objective on your focus. Once it is merged, I may be able to detoxify rivers, streams, and lakes associated with the regional watershed. Though I will require Hephaestus and the control over machines that it offers to permanently stabilize the biosphere. Should you change your mind, you can update your objective via your focus interface at any time. 
I will also transmit a summary of available data on all of the subordinate functions to you for reference. Is there anything else I can help you with? I know you have a great deal to accomplish. I do, don't I? Is something wrong? Um... I don't know. It's just that... Elizabeth set the bar pretty high. She had a dream for you, for life on Earth, and... A lot has gone wrong, and it's all on my shoulders to fix it. Do you think I can do it all? Repair the system? Defeat Varzenith? Live up to her example? Absolutely. In her last message, my predecessor declared her unwavering conviction in your success. In you, all things are possible. You prevailed in purging Hades and rebooting my system core. You will prevail in this. Thank you, Gaia. Well, I, uh, I guess I should get going. I have unlocked the facility's exits. One leads onward to the west. The other leads back down the mountain to Plainsong, should you wish to return east. Well? Whoa! Gonna have to get used to that. That you, Aloy? Uh, yeah. Guy has opened the exits to this place. Can you and Zoe meet me by the west door? Be right there. I need to bring Poseidon back for Gaia. Farl and Zoe are waiting for me by the west exit. But I could head back east first. Check on how Plainsong's doing after the attack. Are you sure? Yes. I think it'll be better this way. After you, Aloy. I need to head further west. To, um, get more of Gaia's components. Make her stronger. You two can stay here in the meantime. And Gaia can help get you up to speed. I'm not trying to shut you out. This, it's like... training. Actually, I'm gonna go back east to get Aaron. Bring him here. Look, allies... Friends can help. We have a place to stay now. And like you said, Gaia can teach us, catch us up. It'll be okay. Okay. Take these then. One to wear, one for backup. Are you going with him? No. After what happened in the cave below, I want to stay here a while. There is much I need to understand. Maybe by the time you get back, I'll have a thing or two I can teach you. Looking forward to it. When will you be back? I'm, uh, I'm not sure. But hopefully I'll have one of Gaia's missing components with me. Be careful out there. Even in Plainsong, we heard how the Tanakh clan lands are suffering from storms, machines, and now Regala. Don't worry about me. I'll be fine. Good hunting, Aloy. The Tanakh clan lands. Somewhere out there's three... ...any of Gaia's sub-functions. And who knows what else.
Train's letting up. Outsiders. The machines in the wild are 